A bar in Columbus's Old North neighborhood has been the site of numerous police calls and several homicides. Now the city says it is time to clean up or close up shop. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew's off tonight. The bar is called Jack's Corner Pub and it's located on Summit Street. 10 TV anchor Colin Dorsey is live outside the bar after talking with community members and the city attorney about what they want to see happen. Colin. Yeah, enough is enough. That's what the people who live here in this neighborhood around Jack's Corner Bar have told me today. Police have been called here 38 times since August of 2021. There have been fights in the street, drug crime, and two people have been killed here in that time. The mother of the latest victim saying she wants this bar closed for good. He didn't just shoot my son, he executed my son. This rose bush is a small memorial to 23-year-old Nasir Reed. He was shot and killed near Jack's Corner Pub at the end of July. He had so much potential. He had a lot going on as far as his life and career, his children, and that was taken from him due to the negligence of this bar. So uh, the grief process is a, a roller coaster. For Reed's mother, the grief of losing her son has turned into a will to fight to close down the bar, and now that fight might have some help. Some places may be like so unredeemable and broken that we may have no choice to shut it down. Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein filing a lawsuit against Jack's Corner Pub and its owner, Roy Walls. Two deaths, nearly three dozen police calls, and reports of fights in drug crime. Klein saying the bar has become a nuisance and a danger to everyone living in the neighborhood. There have been you know, some disturbing trends, obviously some homicides at Jack's. The neighbors were, are fed up and, and rightfully so. Uh, but we want to do things right. We want to be successful. And I think we're now at the, at the point where we can and did file a lawsuit. And our neighbors deserve to live in a safe place. And clearly Jack's is a problem. The lawsuit, if successful, would see the bar closed for good or force changes to its liquor license or operating hours. As the suit works through the courts, the bar is closed for the time being. We got the neighbors back and we're going to do our part. For Reed's mother, the closure cannot come fast enough. And for the person or people who killed her son, just turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. You cannot run. Now, police still haven't made an arrest in that case, but Columbus police tell me that their detectives are still looking for the person or people who led to Nasir Reed's death. I also reached out to the bar's owner for comment today. However, I haven't heard back. Reporting live, Colin Dorsey, 10TV News.